It's my feel good breakfast show. We have been loving connecting with the Weinberg boys, young men, and we have seen how are they preparing these young guys for the next step in their life. And a big start for me in the arts was this play, Little Shop of Horrors. Take a look. Oh, thank you so much, G. We're back at Weinberg High School right now, and we are talking about what I promised you is special. Yes, we're talking about a production that's about to be put on, and it's in conjunction with both Weinberg Boys High School as well as Weinberg Girls High School, and it is The Little Shop of Horrors. It's an exceptional play. It's a rock comedy set in the 60s, and if anybody's aware of it, it is so, so much fun, and I can't wait to see this rendition of it, but let's find out more about what's actually happening here. We've got some of the main cast, some of the lead members, and I I want to just discover some more of their roles, get an idea of what they're going to be doing, and maybe the significance of this play in general. So I'm going to go through the line. We've got a special uh, lineup of cast here. First up, we've got Benjamin. Benjamin, how are you doing, firstly? I'm good. I'm assuming that you've got something to do with being a florist. Is that correct? Yes. What's your character? Seymour is a quintessential nerd. Seymour, he's, yeah? Um, he's a lover of plants, hence he's working as an assistant florist. And um, when he discovers this blood-eating plant, he has to <laughs> battle between the two sides of whether it's worth sacrificing his morals for essentially fame and winning over Audrey, his love. Oh, Simo's got a dilemma to deal yeah. with indeed. I love the prop though, it looks absolutely legit. <laughs> Even as the teeth would. Lulimo, maybe I can chat to you. I yeah. believe you are the florist shop owner? Yes. Yes, yes. yes what, is, what is your role here? What exactly is happening for so, you? So, Mr. Mushnik, as you know, he's the florist shop owner and he's your favorite Jewish grandpa. <laughs> and um, I see more as an enabling. And yeah, um, most of the characters always also develop around him and he's just, you know, a very special character. Kind of like the glue and everything, right? Yeah, it engages with indeed, almost everybody. Indeed, yeah. I love it. Can't wait to see it. Awesome. Nikita, are you from Wamba Girls, right? Yes. How are um, you doing? I'm doing good. I made, made the way all across the road yes. or somewhere. It's quite close by, I believe. Yeah. Listen, so you're playing Orgy and you're dating the dentist yes. who is uh, Oren or Oren? Oren's for yes. What's happening in your, your side of the world? Okay. What are you dealing with in this place? Well, Audrey also works at the florist shop with Seymour and Mr. Mushnik, and she really looks up to Mr. Mushnik as a father figure in a way, and will like do anything to please him, as well as Seymour, as she has a major crush on him. <laughs> and then with Oren Scrivello, again, at her core, she's really a people pleaser, and so she gets trapped into this abusive relationship with him, and just has to figure out how to get out of it because she wants to be with Seymour. I love your knowledge and insight into the character. This is not just a high school production. This is on another level. I'm telling you, Zanzi, it's something you definitely want to get involved in. I'm going to chat the rest of the crew right now, but don't forget, this is actually happening right here at Keg Hall from the 3rd to the 6th of August. So you definitely want to come through and check this production. I mean, look at who we're chatting to already. Look at the props. Look at the cast. It is exceptional. But I'm going to dive into some more of the cast right now. And someone you've already met is Tristan here, the baritone, the deep voice. But you're playing an interesting character right now. What's going on here? <laughs> so, I played the evil plant Audrey 2. Ah, okay, yes, right, Audrey so 2, yeah? You got the smaller version of him over there, and this version goes on my head. <laughs> and basically, I just present um, a dilemma to Seymour, because I am, I am a people-eating plant, and I just want food all the time. And I'm promising Seymour um, fame and success <laughs> in order for him to feed me people, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm the antagonist of the play and kind of just like, I serve as like a spanner in the works of Seymour's life, you know. So he's trying to get success here yeah, and yeah, I'm just... <laughs> I love it. This is going to be interesting. I lost the crew member here, which I want to chat to. Man, you're looking absolutely Thank you cool. So much. Cool is the word I want to use. Now, both Thank of you are playing an interesting character, right? You both are playing Oren, who is obviously yes. the notorious dentist yeah. around this whole play. Talk to me about the character and your positions in each, and why two of you are playing the character, maybe? So, Oren Scrivello, I would say, is a very sort of abusive, mean person, if that makes sense. Um, he gets off on causing pain to people, as he says in the production. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but he kind of like falls back on his profession as a cover up for it. So, oh, I can cause pain, I'm a dentist, sort of thing, you know. Um, I would say that Tristan and I have two very different dentists as well. Yeah. My dentist is more sort of Absolutely. like kept in. Uh, you can see like his aggression build up instead of just starting really mean okay. and loud. It's more like psychotic, if that makes sense. I got you, all right. Yeah. And then leading over to you, Tristan. Yeah, I think as Joel touched on it, like two very different dentists. Uh, I lean towards more of the madness 
side of things and I will have more of my aggression, more of the swag, more of the, you know, the coolness, as you can see uh, from the beginning. You know, he likes to build up a little bit, but uh, Oren is, is a nutter, really. <laughs> he's just a nutter. And, um, it's just a really, really cool character that's quite fun to have. Oh, cool character. The props are looking exceptional. And you guys are definitely stars in the making. I can see that you really know your character. You've embodied the role. And for you, Mzanz, you definitely want to next up August right here at Clegg Hall. It's out at Wamba Boys High School. And of course, you can get your tickets at cricket.co.za. So make sure you book that and come see the future stars of Mzanzi. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, of course, though. We are going to be entertained by two more performances by that vocal ensemble. And let the magic continue. <laughs>